All right, guys, so things are imploding and Japan might just be the trigger. Their market is in free fall and the economy is in trouble as well. If you were thinking Japan's lost decades were over, well, it's about to come back. And this story isn't just restricted to Tokyo, far from it. The fall of Japan's market is a likely precursor of what's to come globally. The economic shock in the US last week guaranteed a global sell-off and Japan just confirmed it. The Nikkei has dropped by over 7% today, which is the definition of a bloodbath. Whatever gains at the narrative of a new age of Japan has effectively melted away. Japan already had a ton of problems. They are caught between the US and the China trade war. The weak yen also caused imports to soar to the moon. And now that the US recession is coming, Japan's economy is about to be clobbered. Markets tend to front-run this fact and that's why we are seeing an epic sell-off today. From the peak, Japan's topics fell by more than 20% and this collapse even triggered circuit breakers. The exchange itself halted trading for some time because prices kept falling down to hell. We are now in the official bear market in Japan. People are deleveraging their assets because the worst is yet to come. As crazy as this sounds, Japan's stock market sell-off probably isn't over yet. It's important to realize how connected Japan's economy is with the US. Because of geopolitics, Japan's biggest trading partner is the US. And when America's economy stalls, Japanese companies are in a world of trouble. Japan's biggest customers are the US and China. Last year, over 20% of their exports went to the US and nearly 18% to China. Beijing doesn't need Japanese goods because they can just manufacture their own. Demand from the US is also falling. Just look at the recent unemployment and the jobs data. People just don't have enough money to spend. And when US consumers are broke, there are only two options left. Either they pivot to low-cost producers like China or consumers cut back spending directly. They buy less stuff. And in Japan's case, their exports to the US are going to fall because they aren't the lowest-cost producers. Japan's biggest decline in 8 years is only going to get worse. The global economy is connected to the US market, so if a recession comes to America, this round in the stock market is only going to get more severe. According to the Taylor Rule, the Fed has kept interest rates too high for too long, and now the effects are beginning to show. The Taylor Rule gives us a gauge of the interest rate needed to bring inflation down, and it's around 3.8% today. Where's the Fed funds rate? It is at 5.5%, which is 170 basis points too high. The Fed has overestimated the rate to fight inflation down and now they have broken the economy. The problem the US economy faces is over leverage. Real estate, the bond market and corporate loans, they all need interest rates to calm down to stay low. But because of endless government spending that refuses to stop, the Fed couldn't take their feet off the brakes. They had put the pedal to the metal for too long and now something has broken. Even if the Fed cuts 7 times now, it's already too late. Japan is the biggest casualty because they orchestrated a rate hike just when the US economy is breaking down. The timing was quite horrible. UBS is warning investors of a bigger sell-off. Buying into Japanese stocks now is like catching a falling knife. And this is something we need to understand about the recent collapse. The big rally over the past 6 months wasn't natural. It wasn't built on economic fundamentals. Japan wasn't out competing the world because their products were better or more competitive. It was because their currency was collapsing. As UBS puts it, the only reason why the Japanese market is up so strongly in the last 2 years is because the Japanese yen was very very weak. Now that the Bank of Japan has intervened and hiked rates up, the yen has been strengthening like gangbusters. And it's this rally in the Japanese yen that's going to cause havoc in the global market. There's a reason why Warren Buffett has pulled his money out of the market. He dumped $75 billion worth of stock, including a ton of Apple shares in the last quarter. This isn't a coincidence. Buffett isn't stupid. He knows that inflation is a real problem and sitting on cash isn't a good idea long term. He understands that. Buffett is timing the market, don't let his old man story trick you. Over the last 4 quarters, 
he has been dumping more and more money into US Treasury bills. He just bought an additional $81 billion in US bonds. His holdings went from $130 billion in Q4 last year to $235 billion. He rather earn 5% in T-bills than speculate in the market. And this is a big red flag to everyone. But don't worry, Janet Yellen is feeling really calm about the prospects of a recession. Over the course of my career, the United States has endured several recessions. Yeah, the origin and nature. It's critical we understand how Japan's rising yen is a danger to the world. Over the past few years to a decade, Japanese investors have been investing overseas. And it kind of makes total sense. You could borrow the Japanese yen at nearly 0% interest. You then convert the money into US dollars and you invest them into US Treasury bonds at 5.25%. So you can get 5.25% in a rather brain-dead trade. As long as rates don't move and the yen stays weak, you can farm over 5% of profits in a year. Now, eventually rates will normalize and this yen carry trade will be over. But what we have is the risk of the entire system imploding. Not only did the BOJ hike rates, the markets believe the Fed is about to slam rates down aggressively. And we aren't just talking about one 25 basis points cut. The Fed Watch tool shows us the level of panic traders have. We have gone from zero cuts to one cut to now a big supersized reduction. Nearly 95% of the market believes a 50 basis points cut is coming in September. And 100% is convinced that the Federal Reserve is going to cut one time at the very least 25 points. Remember guys, the Fed isn't reducing rates because Powell has declared victory over inflation. He's going to cut because the US economy is on the brink of a recession. Very different things. And it's because of this double rate cut that's causing the yen carry trade to implode. The US 10-year yield has fallen to a 52-week low. And this just happened today. It's now trading at 3.75%. So if you bought yen to buy US bonds, your returns have collapsed. The 10-year losing 50 basis points within days is a bloodbath. Investors are dumping everything and they're punning to bonds. And that's why yields are falling hard. But for a carry trader, this is not good news. And it kind of gets worse. The dollar has been crashing hard against the yen. And a big shout out to our sponsor today, Indigo Precious Metals. When it comes to buying gold and silver, I trust Indigo Precious Metals in Singapore. They have made investing in precious metals safe, fast, easy and simple for both small and large scale buying. I've been stacking gold for over a decade now and I've learned two things when buying. You want to buy authentic gold bullion and you want to buy it at the lowest premium possible to stretch your dollars even further. And I'm glad to say I found both of these at Indigo Precious Metals. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world today. We have geopolitical chaos and the values of fiat currencies getting debased. Inflation is not going to end. And that's why I consistently buy gold to preserve my wealth. Indigo Precious Metals is a leading retailer in Singapore. They specialize in physical gold, silver, and platinum. They are my one-stop shop when it comes to buying bullion. Their prices are sharp, and they have the best brands on sale, and I can test the gold on the spot. So if you're looking to make your first gold purchase, Indigo Precious Metals is the best place to start. Whether it's one ounce or one kilo, this is the reputable dealer you are looking for. So take action today, click on the link below and enjoy a discount on your first purchase with the code SEANFU. Start your gold stacking journey today. The USD has lost 11% of its value in just the past month alone, from 161 down to 142. This makes buying back the Japanese yen more expensive. It's a double whammy. You are making less return from US bonds and the currency movement is making you lose even more money. The longer this continues, the more you'll continue to bleed. So the only logical move left is to dump your US dollar assets and run back to the Japanese yen. And that's why money is leaving the market. Japanese investors who own US stocks are likely dumping everything and they are moving back to JGBs. Money is flowing back to their government bonds. It's important we understand this big rotation of money out of US back to the JGBs. Japan's 10-year yield have fallen which means bond prices are rising. It's an inverse correlation. In other words, money is flowing into Japanese government bonds. 
even though yields are disgustingly low at less than 0.8%, people would rather hold a piece of paper than dollar assets. The dollar could continue to weaken much further and that removes global demand for US assets even further. This was not supposed to happen, right? But it has and we have to deal with the coming avalanche. So how much money is involved in the yen carry trade? It could be 5% or 10% of US risk assets like the stock market. For all we know, it could be even more. According to the BIS, the amount of yen-dominated loans issued is nearly 330 trillion yen in March. That's equivalent to $2.2 trillion. The carry trade has increased by 52% because investors simply got greedy. We can see this incredible spike up in yen loans starting in 2022. And that was the start of the Fed rate hikes and also the start of the yen collapse. People saw the chance and they believed that the Fed would stay higher for longer. So they borrowed tons of yen to buy US bonds. And things did work out for quite a while. For over two years, free money kept coming in by simply borrowing the collapsing currency to buy US bonds or stocks. But things are unraveling and they are unraveling fast. The problem now is we are witnessing two colliding storms just feeding off each other. The US economy is weakening, so rates have to come down. But that just forces more unwinding of the yen carry trade. This chart from Goldman tells us how bad the stock sell off could get in the US market. The line in focus is when a US recession happens at the same time. Remember, a recession is only declared months after the fact, so we could all be at the start of one for all we know. When the Fed starts to cut during a recession, the market typically collapses. Over the next 12 months, the S&P could decline by 15 or even 20% from the start. Now that we have the carry trade unraveling, this fall could get even more severe. We just don't know the impact of this yet. So everything now depends on the Federal Reserve and Powell is caught. If he slams rates down in a hurry, that would strengthen the yen and blow up the entire carry trade. But if it doesn't, the US economy could crash into a recession. Or if we are already in one, the collapse could get even worse. He would just drag the recovery out even further. The headwinds we face today are serious and this is global. There's a real chance that the US economy will enter into a recession. Yes, I know Yellen and Biden believe that America is indestructible. But the sands are shifting. The employment data we are seeing is crumbling. The sum rule has been triggered as well. And what's so concerning is how unprepared the world is if a collapse happens. There's still a lot of complacency going around. Bank of America did a survey and it found a huge majority still believes in a fairy tale. Only 11% believes a hard landing or a recession is coming. The majority, 68%, subscribes to a soft landing, which is just a minor slowdown and 18% believes in a no lending theory and that's crazy. A US recession will catch the majority of people by surprise. The markets could continue puking for much longer before it gets better. Not only is the US getting weaker, we now have the yen carry trade to worry about. So there's more downside to go if the economy continues to weaken. But of course, we can always deny it like Biden back in 2022. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> But as always, let me know what you think. Will Japan trigger a massive sell-off across global markets? And is a recession coming for the US economy? Let me know in the comments below. Stay safe, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe as we navigate through these crazy times.